My name is Vijay Kumar. I'm a professor at the Institute of Design, which is part of Illinois Institute of Technology, based in Chicago. Uh, I teach uh, courses um, on primarily design methods and the application of design methods on innovations, which are a combination of design, business, and technology. Um, recently have uh, published a book um, titled 101 Design Methods, a structured approach to growing innovation in your organization. That's a book that is a sort of a full uh, one-stop coverage on the key methods that are used by any designer for any project. So this book is very highly used by a lot of people, not only designers, but engineers, uh, business people, and project team members um, as a reference book uh, for applying on their projects. And um, students are using it, uh, college professors are using it to teach classes. So it's all, uh, I'm really glad that the book is getting a lot of wide publicity all around the world. Three parts. Um, one is some fundamental principles that designers, uh, technologists, business people, everyone needs to use um, in making innovation successful. The second part of the presentation was a full description of a structured process that has seven, seven steps in it um, and a series of uh, mindsets or ways of thinking and a series of methods that will support each one of those steps. So um, I used illustrations from real-world examples to talk about the process steps, the mindsets, and the methods. And finally, the third part of the presentation was an illustrative case study that illustrates or demonstrates the application of these um, seven uh, modes of oh, the design thinking <coughs> process on an actual project that, um, uh, that was done in India by a company called Godrich on the uh, redesign of uh, sort of a drastically different design of a small refrigerator for the masses. The design thinking process that sort of I introduced is uh, only a very generic framework um, uh, that can be tailored to various applications, um, to various contexts. So um, the process and the methods uh, can be used um, by uh, corporations, corporations in their um, large-scale innovation projects, um, but they can be equally well used by small and medium enterprises or coming out with um, you know, sort of medium scale innovations and where the constraints might be about um, finances and time. But the methods can be used in less time and with less resources as well. Um, or they could be used by individual entrepreneurs. Um, single people trying to come out with a radically new innovations can, can tailor these methods. That's the beauty of having a, having a generic process and a toolkit of a large number of tools so that um, people applying them can tailor the toolkit depending upon the final, um, final goal. Um, so Korean, uh, in Korea, um, because the dominance of big companies um, are very much there, most of the students uh, who, you know, who graduate from our school tend to sort of join the big companies. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure the trend will uh, change a lot um, um, in the future, especially because small uh, and medium scale industries are becoming more, more powerful in terms of impact on the economy, and more and more entrepreneurs are becoming innovat innovators. So uh, I think there'll there'll be more and more more and more contribution from design designers in those areas as well. Korea is a wonderful place. This is the first time I'm visiting Korea, uh, including Seoul. Um, 
So, uh, of course, I had a mental image of Korea, but there's, no, there's no, nothing different from my mental image. It's highly, highly developed, uh, lots of new thinking going on, lots of new, um, new ideas being explored by companies like Samsung, LG Electronics, and SK Telecom. They're all doing wonderful, uh, innovative work, um, including I was fascinated by the design initiative that uh, Korean Institute for Design Promotion is taking in um, making design a big part of innovation. So I'm fascinated by the, all the activity that is going on here. Yes, my, my school, uh, Institute of Design, as part of Illinois Institute of Technology, is probably, um, I would claim, because I'm part of that, the world's number one <laughs> school <laughs> um, for teaching design thinking. And we, have <clears throat> we produce very good designers, all around, and they, they go and make a, an impact all around the world. Um, <clears throat> so um, uh, the bottom line is, uh, for us as professors, um, and researchers uh, to be on the cutting edge of design innovation. That's what we strive to do and that's what our students represent um, and we are very proud of that.